I work mostly in transfusion medicine um, and transfusion medicine is something which um, almost universally all doctors need to know something about. Um, most junior doctors will interpret full blood counts, they will assess patients who are anemic, they will request blood from the lab, make decisions as to whether patients need blood and other blood components, um, they will take blood samples, um, they will prescribe blood and they will speak to patients about receiving blood components and the relative um, risks um, of that and benefits. Um, but actually there's not really a huge amount of transfusion training that happens either at the undergraduate level um, where there's perhaps a couple of hours over their five years because they have so much else to fit in um, or even at the postgraduate level most of the learning is actually done by um, sort of handing handed down from more senior clinicians. So we find that in surgery, for example, you'll have surgical registrars and consultants teaching their house officers how to, how to do transfusion. And, and so we find that a lot of the practice is potentially out of date and not in, in keeping with what we would consider to be best practice. Um, so we wanted to develop um, some way of trying to disseminate you know, good practice in transfusion medicine to um, junior doctors. Um, and the, the challenge that we had was that obviously most junior doctors are not going to train to be haematologists. So haematologists, we've kind of, we've already got them. They know that they need to understand transfusion medicine. Um, but uh, most junior doctors are going about their daily business and planning other career routes. So we designed um, a course that was, we hope, um, a bit more innovative, a bit more engaging, um, and using much more modern methods of, of delivering education. And also the way that we advertise the course um, we tried to be a bit more savvy about how we got the information out there um, so that junior doctors would know that we were running um, this course and, and would want to come along. Um, so last year we ran the course um, across two face-to-face -face days and then between the two days we ran um, tutorials online using WhatsApp. So we divided the delegates into five different groups. Each group had three tutorials. It was the same tutorial delivered five times. Um, to try and keep them sort of engaged um, in the learning and try and consolidate that knowledge um, in that month between the two face-to-face -face, um, days. On the face-to-face -face days, we ran um, a couple of sort of old-fashioned lecture style sessions, um, but also lots of interactive learning, so small group work, um, and also the use of um, a, an, an app-based um, tool called Kahoot, which they could load down onto, download onto their phones and we could use kind of question answers to engage um, the delegates a bit more, get them talking amongst themselves, make a bit of competitiveness um about the process and uh, yeah, just try and get them kind of talking and thinking a bit more um, about transfusion medicine. Um, prior to the course, we designed a, um, a sort of an assessment tool so that they could gauge where they were before we started um, the course and then tested them again at the end. It was all very informal, it wasn't like a proper exam, um, but we validated that as a tool using um, haematology experts post part two and sort of novices, so F2 doctors beforehand to make sure that it was a fair test. And then um, we're able to show that their knowledge improved before the course and after the course that so we had actually improved their transfusion knowledge um, and also collected more soft kind of um, methods of feedback. So we got a quite good verbal feedback that they enjoyed the interactive nature of the course. They enjoyed using WhatsApp and Kahoot and, and sort of the tools that were more familiar with to them. Um, in terms of, of learning. The feedback that we got from the course was that they found the WhatsApp sessions quite um, useful. So it was something that none of them I don't think had used before. It's something that I've used a lot with my um, haematology registrars in the West Midlands because we cover a very wide area. They work in hospitals as far as Stoke, Worcester, Coventry. So getting everybody together is really hard. Um, and so I've been using that for a few years. Um, we have hour long sessions in the evenings where we just go through some transfusion cases um, and they, they quite like that. So um, yeah, we thought we'd try it with, with this group and, and it seemed to go down very well from the feedback that we, that we had. So yeah, they, they did seem to, to enjoy it. So it seemed to um, correlate with good, good um, improvement in their test scores afterwards.